in China, right? Bro, it's yeah. in China. There's, that a, one. there's like a dog burning you festival. You know what's funny, bro? I had that video for like eight months. And I told myself, bro, I never show that shit to the world. Fuck that, bro. That's, I, I cried when I watched it's it. It's crazy. Bro, I literally, I watched that and I was like, I'm about to cry now thinking yeah, about that yeah. shit. Shit fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> Number one podcast in the world. It's like what 9 30 p.m. People are uh, partying. Are partying. The day after my birthday, I'm 24 now. I'm feeling fucking good. Yo, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss these episodes. Uh, like I said, it's the number one podcast in the world. We do Science. an audio only extended QA with the guests after the visual is done. So you can find that on iTunes and Spotify. Hey, little fun fact, guys. Um, what do we got? We have a, a sponsor for the show. We, we got sponsored this episode. We locked one down? Yeah, first sponsor in a Who while. Is, is it the same? Not somebody we've used before, was no. it? No. So this one's by from Maverick by Logan Paul. Um, these guys are great. They've been <laughs> they really- They've been so good to us. Yeah, they yeah. got that buy one, give one thing going on. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. So, so you get one new Maverick hoodie or anything on the site and you give one to a kid in need. So they're, they're doing some good stuff. You can get it on a phenomenal uh, LoganPaul.com slash shop. Yo, we have a fun podcast today with a guest who I absolutely fucking, I'll use the word adore. He's not paying attention. I love this guy. If, if I wave him in now, you think he'll be ready? No, because he's talking to my girlfriend. Guys, now. I want to introduce our guest. <laughs> he's got 5.1 million followers on Instagram. He's collaborated with Will Smith, Mike Tyson. He's an apex predator, a real jungle man, and a genetic relative of the Komodo dragon. It's the real Tarzan. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Dude, you have the whitest teeth I've ever seen in my That's fucking a big life. Fact. Sorry, bro. Yo, this is like so fucking fun. Yeah, man, it's we 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 dick around here, dude. Like, so feel free to have fun, dude. Interact I'm, with the audience, man. interact with our producer Brad. He's Every, the man. Everyone's really uh, really rooting for you here, man. Dude, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, bro. You, you're That's looking good. great. You're looking phenomenal, dude. You guys are my inspiration. Oh shit, really? Yeah, man. Oh damn, oh, <laughs> it gives on, me some dude. tingly feelings. That. <laughs> Does that mean you've been boxing? <laughs> oh, have you? Uh, oh, nah, oh shit, bro. everybody boxes, you know. A little bit. Yeah. KSI Logan Paul undercard. Would, would, would that ever happen? Me? Boxing? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Boxing. Uh, that's, that's funny because that dude, Kelv, what's his name again? Uh, nature. Brother Nature. Brother Nature, Brother nature yeah. he said he would fuck you up in a boxing nah, match. Yeah, and he, he said he's nah. better with animals too, bro. <laughs> Weird. Not. On this yeah. podcast. <laughs> he actually said the exact opposite. He said y'all are like, y'all are friends. And it's my boy. I love Kelvin. Yeah, which, I mean, makes sense. They love everything on planet Earth. Planet Earth. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Kelv's um, a goat, bro. He makes me laugh, bro. We yeah. travel around the world. He's dope, bro. bro. Yo, but um, for real, you what'd you lose like? 20, 30 pounds since yeah. the last time I saw you. Yeah, dude. Can, can, I see your, can I see your six pack? Are you comfortable? Bro, let me see your six pack, bro. You're a, you're an animal. Yo, I, wait, Forget I, me. You guys on. see my boy just post what he posts on Instagram? Just. <laughs> boom. Oh, look at them abs. <sighs> bro. I haven't worked out in like a month. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've been sick. What's wrong with you? Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I think I caught uh, some, some sort of thing. It's not good. Influenza. Some sort of thing is horrible, Influenza. bro. Influenza. Influenza. Have you heard? Influencers, Enza. <laughs> Influencers, Enza. It's when you He's influence too, too much, much and you catch influenza. Yeah. Um, but yo, for those of you who do not know, this man uh, is quite possibly one of the most genuine people on planet Earth. Like your smile is contagious. Your energy is contagious, which, which I think attributes a lot to the success you've had online. Because the way you treat animals is Ooh. so, I mean, I don't want to say unprecedented, but it's almost like it, that type of energy and interaction doesn't exist anymore. The last time I saw something that like was with Steve Irwin. Yeah. Um, I want to show some some of the clips here, and I think we can actually cut away to the computer now. Our technology has really been oh, upgraded. That, you guys are too kind, man. Um, you yeah, dude. See all this nice stuff. No, no, this is incredible, bro. I'm just a regular guy. You, that's a lie. I see you running around, sticking your head out of water <laughs> like a badass, playing with cheetahs, letting elephants lick your face, being scarfed. <laughs> what? I mean. There's so much going on here. I, it's it's almost tough to to begin with you. We just have fun, bro. How did you get so involved with the animals? I mean, I've been like it since I was a kid, bro. You know, you always love animals. Yeah, dude. Like I was born with dogs. You know, I've had do pet dogs. <laughs> I have lizards, snakes. Mm. You know, you got pit bulls now, yeah. Yeah, I've had them my whole life. Th those ones look fucking aggressive. No, they're sweet as can sweet? be, bro. Yeah, to you, yeah, to everybody, everyone. Yeah, we have a pit in the house. Yeah. Go get them. Well, it's, I it's heard a you have a lot of animals here. We do. Like, we're, I heard you we had a pig Raya? here. We got a pig. Yo, we're like, we're like <laughs> you're going to have the king of the jungle at the crib and not have the pigs out. We got an albino turtle that yeah. no one ever sees yeah. and talks about. His name's Pancake. 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 I what wonder, kind of turtle is he? Uh, soft shell Chinese. Chinese soft shell. Wow, bro. What do you think of that? 
That shit. is nice. Shit. Maybe you could tame him, bro. He's kind of a dickhead. <laughs> like literally his head looks like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's actually a really nice turtle. He's yeah. just, oh, he's a nice turtle, yeah. But he's yeah, also yeah. a dick, <laughs> but he has like a dick. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. They come in the little thing and they Yo, pop up, pop up, pop up, not know? to yeah. get like too sidetracked, but <laughs> Tarzan, maybe you know. Why does his penis look, look like Alien from Alien and Predator? Because they're called hemipenes. Hemipenes. I need to look this look up. Look at hemipenes. Please don't, please don't flag me, YouTube. Hemipenes? Yeah. And it's, this I'm is, not sure if turtles have hemi He spelled it like this one he, does, bro. This one has a peen that opens up. Well, he spelled it like Google a hemi. That. He spelled it like a hemi engine, hemi like a hemi peen. Hemi peen. Like if you get the fo- the 5.8 liter hemi peen. So yeah, it's like a double penis. You Each know? of the paired male reproductive snakes organs. And and I don't think turtles have it. So yeah, I could be completely wrong. I think he has like a hexapene. <laughs> well, okay, I, I'm even because yo, you ever see a tortoise dick, bro? No, it's weird, bro. It comes like <clears throat> huge, and I know turtles have weird dicks too. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bro. It it's looks fun- like an alien. Dude. It's yeah. funny. I always think of things that I probably won't hear that day. And did you ever see a tortoise dick? Was like I wasn't ready for that today. I'll be honest with you. Like I was not expecting that. Today. I mean, those viral videos go around. And tortoise is like humping, you know. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you guys and seen the it. sound they make. Yeah, it's hilarious. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> he did that way too good. Yeah. Are you a tortoise? <laughs> he's been, he's I wasn't a past life. Uh, yeah, wrong word. Sorry. No, uh, I mean, yeah. bro, I'm I'm honestly impressed that you even whipped out hemipeen that that quickly. Um, and I was gonna ask you because a lot of your videos, you just seem to know everything. No, How I do you know shit. everything about every animal? I don't know shit. Like I like. <laughs> I really don't. You can't tell me you don't Google before you. Research the animal. Yeah, everybody, you know, everybody, you know, refreshes their memory, you know, like. I saw you were reading you know, on didn't flights like and stuff too. I hop on Google and say that, you know, <laughs> I've been on Google a million times about an animal, you know, like just studying how to take care of them in captivity, you know. Do you, do you memorize most of the things that you say on, uh, on the gram? Like when you give us facts about animals, um, like I, you, you were talking about the, the Mata Mata turtle recently. So like, for instance, Mata Mata turtle, like yeah. you say, for, in my mind, Mata Mata turtle comes from South America. I know they eat fish. They lay in decaying ah, ponds. You know, they yeah, have a yeah, yeah. shell that blends in with decaying leaves. So I know for a fact of a Mata Mata turtle, any turtle, you just describe them from what he eats, where he comes from, how he looks, why they have that particular name, you know, which describes them. And you just give a general background of the animal, but you use that same, you know, like, study guide for every animal. Gotcha. Where does it come from? What does he eat? What makes him gotcha. special? You know, so that's why I'm able to look at an animal that like a uh, mata, mata turtle and like gotcha. bing, bing, bang, bang, bang. I can easily go on Google, but when you study them, oh, have them as pets, you know, yeah. And it's like, they're like my friends, you know, so I want to know everything about them. You mean that? Yeah, dude. The animals are your friends. Yeah, bro. Like your homies. Where does that love come from, bro? Dogs. Because I, I envy it. Look at look at the dog, bro. Look how much time man and humans have spent mm-hmm. with dogs. Dogs are man's best friend, right? We spend so much time with that animal because we love it. Every animal has the same, same capability to love and give that affection like a dog does. I don't you, you just got to spend that time with it and figure it out. We usually have Kong on the set. I think Danny's going to grab Rhea right we, now. We have some great dogs here. I, don't, I honestly don't think humans deserve dogs. No, we don't. There, there's some times we're like, man. Dogs are the best thing They're the so yes, sweet. Yes, obviously. Yeah. You can have the worst day ever. And, yeah, and me, I come home and my little stupid Pomeranian is looking at me with his tongue out and it's, change your it's, day. it's literally so refreshing. Well, it's unconditional, right? Like no matter yeah, what, like you come home and they're waiting for you, and like it's it's a uh, it's it's a beautiful thing. Do you, do you where do you live right now? Miami, Miami. Did you tell me you were moving to California? The, uh, the fire stopped me. Shut up. Yeah, dude. You know when all the fires are going on over yeah, here, it's like of course everybody was buying so many different houses that were up for sale and for rent because their house was getting burned down. So the one that was going after. We're all on like farmland, I guess, where they were. No, no, they, they actually burned down. Yeah. So I had two two places I was trying to grab that had a lot of yard, you know, like horse stables and big, huge Tarzana property where I can do my animal you stuff. You were going to move to Tarzana. Yeah, that's I still am moving to Tarzana, that's but fitting. at that time I was going to move. That's when all the fires and stuff were happening. Fuck. Happening. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. Hey, there's our pit, by the way. Dude. Oh. Yeah, she. she bro, I just don't want her to take a camera out. Right bro, up. I love dogs, especially pit bulls, bro. This one is What's the sweetest name? piss ever. Uh, her name is uh, Rhea. Hey, Jenna, I told you he was moving to Tarzana. Yeah, yeah, I am moving there. She's for like, sure. no, he never was. No. Come here, buddy. Dude. Dude. Oh, man. Look at this. Yeah, she's she's a cutie. Hey. My man is my man is the ultimate dog whisperer. His energy, I feel like, is so. You could uh, you could lift her up. We've had her up before. Yeah, it's my girl. She'll come out. Is it a girl? Yeah, right. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. 
Dude, I love dogs. Yeah, Sorry, she's I a sweetheart, bro. Track. I'm, she, I'm going around. Yo, she's no, it's all good. It's all good. What's your other than dogs or or are dogs your favorite or other than dogs? What's your favorite yeah, bro, animal? You roll around with that chimpanzee like it's your best friend. Yeah, bro. They're all my best friends, bro. When you build those relationships with them, bro, it's like. Yo, but how you build a relationship with a chimpanzee? It's like, time, bro. is it yours? No, no. So, no. Nothing is mine. You know, so like, do you go to the. If I can let go of every animal I have in a while, I would. Really? Yeah, bro. I hate like the whole process of having to have an animal in captivity. It sucks. Really? Yeah, bro. You know, like, why is that? Traveling the world really changed my mind. You know, on like, you got to think, I grew up in the zoo. Mm. You know, as a kid, watching Nemo, Lion King, mm-hmm. Steve Irwin, going to, I grew up in Rhode Island. Okay. Oh, Good yeah. old Ro- yeah. Rhode Island. Yeah. So Rhode like, Island. I didn't have like <laughs> no, there was no jungle to go to, you know, I went yeah. to the Roger Williams Park Zoo. You know, it was a horrible looking place, you know, in the winter, you know, it was just snow everywhere. It's not a zoo, you know? So like, when I go around the world and see, is that a Pomeranian, bro? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's Kong. No, dude. that's actually a miniature lion. Dude, I, I figured, bro. <laughs> I was so he, shook. We, we, Look did, at this we thing. did find out he's inbred. So just be careful. They're like Mufasa. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I just wanted to touch you. The, the fans were saying that they were distracting him last time. I know. He's, he's literally oh, too cute. Because he's so cute. What, why do you, oh, uh, do you have him in captivity now to help endangered ones? Or what's yeah, the process? Yeah, so like, you know, people that have animals in captivity, not everybody, but majority of them are basically ambassadors for them, the animals in the wild, you know, like a spokesperson or how you're going to have a connection with a bear if you've never seen one, you know, right. it just mm. goes over your head. Mm. But if you can take your kids to the zoo and see one, but sometimes depending on the zoo, they're taken care of great or in, not in, so great. In general, are you Man. for or against zoos? I mean, you need it. You need it? You need that shit. You know, the reality of it is you need it. You need animals in captivity to help spread awareness. Really? You know, to do research on endangered species. You know, sometimes people that have animals in captivity, they have more numbers in captivity than they are in the wild. Damn. You know, so without those programs, without those zoos or, you know, conservation efforts, a lot of animals wouldn't fucking even be here. When, when you see on the news, like uh, recently there was that lady who crossed the barrier at the zoo and got oh, a jaguar, got like fucked, fucked her up. up. Dude, like, do you feel bad for her? When that when stuff like that happens, I mean, look, dude, nature. <laughs> There's a bug on my computer, bro. Are you the bug, is that? Bro? I don't know. Yeah, what are your just, thoughts? What are bro, your thoughts on up, that? Bro? He's, he's still alive. Hurt. He's near you now, so it's on you. He's, he's, at, he's paralyzed, but he's uh, maybe it was the wrong guest to smash a bug in front of. Well, no, I mean, it, it's actually it's actually an interesting Sick segue point. because <laughs> Tar. The last time we saw Tarzan, wait, hold on. Oh, he's gonna answer about the lion lady. The lady gets even bonding with this bug. This bug is like best friends now. My boy's literally. Dude, look at He's tamed the bug. <laughs> He's like, you aren't smashing Dude, me, Mr. Look, Tarzan. If you ever look close at bugs, buddy, it looks so freaking dope. Right. Yo, this is... You stay there, buddy. Shine, right? So if you see a bug, you won't smash it? Like, Andre, can you show these fucking pterodactyl spiders on our set? Yeah. Where, where oh, are these coming from? Okay, look, what is that, Mr. Tarzan? It's like a giant mosquito, but it's like a female, so they can't even get you like that. You like did did you get a close-up of, of, of how big this is? The, Oh my god, he's <laughs> he's literally capturing a giant mosquito on our set. I thought this was an ancient Jurassic bird of prey. This oh, he's hey, getting, be careful, he's bro. In. They they could carry West Nile or he's some like sort of uh, syphilis. 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 Yeah, or gonorrhea. Are they too big to bite? Yo, oh it's god, on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 So cool, bro. Look at that thing. That's a big. I used boy. to look at him as a kid and be like, "Yo, look at that pterodactyl dinosaur so wait, bird that, looking thing." And, and it's cool to you. Yeah, bro. I love those things. Because uh, they're harmless. When you look at it, you're like, oh my God, don't touch it. And then you figure out it's completely harmless. You're like, yo, that thing is dope, bro. Yeah, until you like wake up with one on your face. Or West Nile virus. You know how Alexander the Great died? How did he die? A fucking mosquito. He conquered Rome and then a mosquito bit him like Spencer's demonstrating. <laughs> right in his back, dude. <laughs> right in his back and lit him up. Done. 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 I just conquered <laughs> all of Rome. And then a mosquito just stop. <laughs> Dead. That's it, bro. That is fucked. So yeah, bro, when the lady gets mauled by the jaguar, is it kind of like... Bro, nature's unforgiving. Yeah, big facts. You know, like, uh, it's a jaguar, bro. What are you thinking, lady? The jaguar is the top dog in the jungle. Yeah. What did you expect? I think that's what, the... What did you expect? <laughs> what did you expect? That's the problem with hanging out with dogs too much, because then you're like, damn, like, this is how all animals are. And then you get in the fence with a jaguar. <laughs> Just that's the thing's on dog, yeah, bro. True. But you, would you go on anybody else's fence with their dog if you didn't know it? No. Exactly. Yeah, well, that's because yeah. he's that's because he's vegan. Yeah, he, he's he's hyper conscious of of animals. And I'm the same way. I don't I don't like I don't like killing bugs. Andre's the same way. Like if it's a spider, like I used to kill him, and now I'm like, 
Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna like capture it, release it outside. Yeah, because I I feel like that spider's gonna come bite me the next time if you know, you know spiders, if I kill it. They control or somebody else's population. Termit, termites, spiders, yeah. what? They control mosquitoes populations yeah. and stuff. You know, in your house. Yeah, See, man. I, See, everything's like a life cycle. <laughs> it's, you know? it's, it's true. For me, it depends on the bug. There, there, that one had cobwebs on him, so imagine him flying. He gets caught in a spider web in the corner. Yeah. And, and he's food. Eats them. Yeah. What, about, what about the ones that crawl up your sink, man? Like, where are they coming from? <laughs> How many of them are there? And like, Why do they have, have so many legs? Are you going to be invaded? stuck in there, you know? Four plus legs, and I start to get a little uh, queasy. Yeah. I smashed one the other day, and your girlfriend, I saw my peripherals. She went, yeah. and she looked away. She couldn't see. How often do you see spiders? I feel like pretty much every day. Day we should probably get an exterminator. Oh here. my god, there's so many spiders. Here. <laughs> We're going the opposite direction. Wait, now. so you so you protect the bugs, but you eat you do eat meat, right? Yeah. Because I I, I remember in Miami the last mm -hmm. time we saw you, we were at Prime yep. and we were going ham on some wagyu and like all that shit. Yeah, bro. And so you're like a you're like a fucking lion, bro. It's a carnivore. A carnivore. You know what's funny? I changed my diet up since then. What happened? What do you know? What changed? Bro, you see, I lost all this weight. How? No, I don't tell me veganism. No, don't, don't do fucking say it, dude. What'd you do? No, I just changed my diet. I literally stopped eating a lot of meat because I was eating so much, you know, like, I wouldn't say being ignorant to it, but like. Healthier meat. certain parts of uh, reality, motherfuckers can't afford to pick and choose what they get to eat. Yep. You know, yep. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's a lo long time in my life I can damn near just buy Wendy's burgers. And that's yep, all I yeah. could afford. By the way, shout out Wendy's. Fuck, you know, show. like, so, at, you know, at a point in time in my life. So being more educated on something. You know, yeah. of changing my diet, eating more plants, you know, taking the meat down, you know, realizing what happens, you know, when they go through the process of, you know, uh, prepping them for us. Yeah. You know, seeing the, the benefits of eating a plant-based diet. You know, you got to weigh your options and really be in the field, you know, and have that real life experience in it. So you're still mm -hmm. eating some sort of Yeah, I'm more like a 80% 80, 80 veggie now. 20% really? meat. Ooh, that's a flexitarian, they call that. Yeah, dude, Once you start it's to limit hard. Your meat. I got to, I got to. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not weaning myself off of it. I'm putting myself in the field. You're, you're vegan, right? Yeah. So yeah. when you, when you, uh, how long have you been vegan for? About four years. Four years. Yeah. So when you made that crossover, how long did it take you? Did you do it immediately or did you like. I was vegetarian at first. So okay. that's kind of like the same thing. I, I definitely weaned into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think you'll ever go take that. Full, full vegan? Probably not. Do you get shit for that? Still eating meat and being mm. no. I mean, people ask me questions about it, but I'm a realist about it. I feed other animals, other animals, you know, every day yeah. of my whole life, you know, because I'm a caregiver of, you know, yeah. animals of all different backgrounds. So you told me that the first time we we yeah. uh, had dinner at uh, Dan Fleischman's wedding, you, mm -hmm. said you said you're a realist. Yeah, man, I'm just real about it. You know, I don't have nothing against vegans or vegetarians or pescatarians or someone that eats meat or someone that's pro-meat or against me. Yep. The, Do you the, think one of the biggest things, uh, you guys had uh, Cam Haynes on the podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, I liked his argument um, about just not supporting like factory farming. Yeah. And I think that's something that, you know, as a vegan, I don't, I'm, I'm always trying to like assess and, and make sure I'm not like sucks, pushing dude. something on people too hard. But factory farming is just still one of those things where it it, it like it, it really sucks. hurts yeah, to see us as human beings. I can't even watch that doing shit. that yeah. to, to oh, animals. Bro, it, like makes me want to cry. So then, how do you how do you feel about hunting? Which is something I want to ask. Yeah, you hunting about. is different. Okay. Um, if you go in the jungle or up the plains, or you go anywhere and you have a spear or a knife, and you go out there and get your own food. You skin it, you bring it back, you feed your family. I got no fucking problem with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you that's work what for that That's what campaigns does. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's yeah. gangster. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that that if I if I had an option to live like that, like in real in reality, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you you brought up Wendy's burgers mm -hmm. before, and I, I want to hit this note really quick. So Burger King launched the <laughs> impossible whopper the other day. So it's the a whopper made with this uh plant-based impossible burger, which is you you and Andre's favorite burger. Yo. And Nobody could tell the difference between the regular Whopper and this new plant-based Whopper. That's crazy. What are your thoughts on that? Bro, again, I've been changing my diet up, and the only way I've been able to change it was eating these Impossible Burgers and Beyond Meat Burgers. <laughs> oh, so you've been eating them anyways. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just, What am I else? What else am I supposed to do? You yeah. Know? Yeah, that helped just... me big time, bro. When I came out here and I had uh, buffalo chicken wings from Veggie Grill, 
I was like, D- I can be vegan. By the way, how much? How much? How much uh, is Burger King paying us for that spot? They just <laughs> we got to inv- We're gonna send them an invoice. invoice after. Yeah, oh, send after him an invoice. Post, post. Except, except I'm also not gonna do shit because I saw those laser eyes. You're giving me a fucking gen. So now I'm not doing <laughs> shit for you, bitch. Hey, wait, hold up, hold up. Just back to the Impossible Burger real quick because I've done it. Yeah. If you haven't tried them, they are bomb, delicious. Bro. They're, they're very, very good. And I. It's to, impossible to believe it's not a burger. I'm not buying it. I'm literally not buying it. I'm waiting for them in two years to be like. Gotcha. It's actually me. We found out it was impossible <laughs> to make it taste like real meat without being real meat. It's People made with sick, yo, though. it's made with yeast. They use a yeast that makes it look like blood when you bite into it. It's you like know, that's he, he, I, know, I thought that was I thought it was beets. Like I thought there's, it was beet there's juice. Yeast in it too. I just read about right, it. I bit uh my first veggie burger like like literally a couple months ago. Like a real deal veggie burger. Oh, for real? Yeah. And now and you're into it. And I was like, yo, this thing is bleeding. So next time you go to yeah. Burger King, like how often are you going there? I don't know. When I, go to Burger King. I think I four, <laughs> four years ago. <laughs> like, I lied. I used to get French toast sticks from there. R- so those oh are my bomb. God. Throw those back. Bro, they have great breakfast. Oh, they're they have the croissant browns. Wi- and the croissant, which is the little orange juices with a little thing. Yep. Bro. Bomb. Yep. Bomb. They came yeah, through. Bomb. One thing I wanted to ask with, with <laughs> you were talking about traveling the world and yeah. like how has that uh, directly impacted your views on? on health and food and like all these things. Like how did, how did traveling change your life? Man, traveling opened my eyes so much, bro. You know, from just seeing different cultures, different people, different ways of life, mm. you know, different ways of survival, you know, different ways of how not what it is in a textbook or what is not on a TV screen. You know, when you see it for what it actually is in reality, you're mm-hmm. like, fuck. In a good or bad way. It makes, for me, I'm not, I'm not really a, uh, I I didn't grow up around many interactions with people because I spent all my time with animals, you know, Mm. in my immediate family. Mm. I'm the oldest of 10. So you you have nine siblings. Yeah. Damn. So I really didn't fucking need friends. You know, I had (laughs) him all the friends at home. Yeah. You know, so like when I start going around the world and I see how it's bad in a lot of parts. Yeah. You know, like in all reality. I mean, man, you've, you've, you've been everywhere. Recently you did a, a big trip in, uh, Africa, right? Yeah. I mean, you you went in, bro. You really did it. That's you. That's me. And and didn't you get a didn't you get some sort of tribal ritual tattoo like a like they poked you with sticks or something? Yeah, dude, it was crazy. What was experience. that? I got um I got branded in Kenya. Is that like the thing from Black Panther that like Michael B. Jordan had on him on, on his back? Something like that. The little dots. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. What, what was it? So um in uh, Africa and. Kenya, there's this tribe called the Maasai tribe. Mm. The Maasai tribe, they're naturalists. They live on the land. You know, some of the baddest warriors on the planet. Yeah. You know, they're, uh, they live in different national parks. They're uh, nomadic, so they live, they walk around yep. everywhere, yep. you know, and they just keep going. Mm-hmm. And they living outside in nature, you know, who's the top dog in Africa? The lion. Oh, the lion. <laughs> ah. I know my animals. <laughs> I know my animals. <laughs> Yo, before I get deep into this, bro, bro, you're funny as shit. No, I'm not, dude. You guys make me laugh. Thanks. <laughs> He's a bitch, though. It's it's. Yeah. I wish I could argue that contested. I can't. You guys I, are just so open. I'm just a trick ass hoe. <laughs> at the end of the day, yo, but thank you, bro. I appreciate your for your, sure. Uh, your, you, you, you make you make other people feel like super comfortable be themselves from a digital platform. You know, yeah, I try. I think. I mean, including myself. That's that's, the, that's the message, dude. Like my message from day, I mean, look at this fucking table. Be Fire. yourself, yo. And if people call you weird, continue being yourself, please. Absolutely, fucking Lily. That's it's the most uh, it's the most beautiful thing. And I've said that before on this on this podcast. Um, so I wanted to well go back to Africa. Sorry, I totally Sorry. got sidetracked. It. Yeah, <laughs> no, so these guys good. jump high, you know, like the highest jumpers on the planet. You know, they got straight up bounce, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the people. Yeah, like really, they can just stand. They there got just, hops. Calf muscles are like bulging. They, that's got to be for some sort of hunting, bro. They uh, they're low key vegetarians, on the low. They eat a little, little minute bit of meat. Why do you think that is? Um, they eat cow's blood. They drink cow's blood. Um, oh, but they eat mainly plants. You said they're nomadic. Yeah. So it's not stuff they're farming, correct? Uh, they're, yes, they they're, have their they're own, gathering. They, they have their own. They're they're they're, they're eating with uh, from the land. You know, they eat tree bark for different medicines wow. and stuff like that. Yeah, bro. They literally live in the bush. Wow. That's, like, that's we, we, we walked up and I'm like, yo, this is like 
It's like tribe people walking towards me in my head. This is how yeah, you thought, like, yo, you thought that was it. Yeah, I was like, yo, there's a tribe people walking towards me, bro. With like spears yeah, and north, shit. North Center in the Lee's Island shit. You know, and I'm like, yo, where are they walking from? Where I'm looking is exactly what the bushes look like. You know, they made like, you know, like an entire little community Whoa. out of bushes that you can't even see 10 feet away. You're like, yo, oh shit, they live inside there. Damn. You know? That's some Mata Mata turtle camouflage. <laughs> So they're cool with with uh, Westerners or like people from the yeah you know, the very very peaceful people in. yeah very very yep. peaceful people. Um, me and one of the leaders we vibed out we connected you know we're walking around and we're both naming a bunch of animals together like word for word. I'm like boom what's that that's the thing boom that's the thing. Y'all don't speak the same language. He spoke a little bit of English. Oh he did. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh so is that is that how you connected or was it an energy thing? It was a lot of energy thing yeah. too yeah for sure. And then you know when they started dancing. And like just doing their thing, you know. Oh, that's and, um, awesome. They were taking photos. You know, people we were taking photos and videos. How the, how are the honeys in the tribe? Oh, they're beautiful. They got they got they oh got, man, yeah, they got nice honeys. Beautiful black woman. Really? Yeah. Just I need a go. gorgeous queens. Yo, you love them, bro. I, w- I want to go. I just don't that's even know. That's your thing. I, I want to meet. I want to go to a cannibalistic tribe. To be honest with <laughs> the you, cannibalistic. Yeah, tribe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where, I wanna, where's it, where, where are those, where those ones at? Uh, there's one. <sighs> That, that's one you might not come out of, bro. Oh, well, you you might, but you might be on a platter <laughs> or a poop or a soup play or something. Yeah, pooped out. Be a maverick, baby. <laughs> go to a cannibalistic island. I don't know. You ain't gonna make it back. I feel no, yeah, not, actually you should. You would actually. I would. Yeah. I feel or, like or the not. internet. Let's do I it, feel bro. like that's what, what the internet go? wants. Wait, wait, wait. Would you go? Like with Logan, me? Bro, please absolutely. go. Absolutely. <laughs> Hold on. Listen, bro. This is important. <laughs> would you go? I'm not fucking around. I'm so. I've down. been I've been talking to these guys about it for a month. A cannibalistic island. Let's go. Yo, I'd feel so protected with him there. Bro, you're a fighter. All you got to do is fight your way in there. Yeah, but they got spears and bows. No, you just come with the leader and be like, yo, bro, who's your best fighter? Let's get it. Oh, lose, and earn their respect? Yeah, bro. That's how you do it. That's why I'm trying to get stripes and shit so we can Tell me that's stuff. not the sickest piece of content, Spencer. Grow bro. a pair of nuts and come with us. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. I think that was it. Let's go. His nuts just dropped. I heard it. I know. I could literally yeah, I that was oh, hitting it was the like, floor. Boosh, yeah. Boosh. Yeah, I'm down. All so right. so beyond all the beyond all the the beautiful things you're doing for this planet and, and how well you treat animals and uh also apparently take baths with them. I mean this, this, Yeah, everybody gets a bath, bro, you know? This is incredible, bro. <laughs> this is what I love to agree with, dude. Beyond beyond all this stuff, you're a real human being. Uh, that's what, 26 years 25 old? years old. 25 years old. So are you living the regular life that a 25-year-old lives? Are you going out? Do you have a to place to stay? Are you, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I go out. Are you party? And yeah, I don't party like that. You know, I'm not like really a partier. Mm. I don't, I can't dance, so, you know. Really? Yeah, bro, I'm not a dancer. Do you drink? Eh, occasion, you know, like yeah. especially like July 4th, my birthday. You know, I got some awesome. childhood friends in town and take a shot or something, you know, toast. Gotcha. Yeah, so typical stuff. I don't get... Do- sp- black every night you know do the animals know you party no they never know yeah. my dogs do because i come home and i'm like yo <laughs> can you just hug me yo, I, miss, <laughs> I miss you so much i've been gone for like two hours i gotta i gotta yeah. say there's no there's no better feeling than coming home just like not that i would know of course we're coming home like pretty fucked up yeah pretty, pretty drunk and your dogs are like yo <laughs> isn't it the best feeling ever and it's like oh my god oh! <laughs> Y'all are just getting there at like 2 a.m. Dogs yes, do that bro. if you leave for two minutes. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah, bro. Like they forget. My dog smiles at me when I walk in. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. See, and it's cool because like you're part of work. Are you going on, like most of the day? Are you home um, a lot with your dogs? I, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So yeah. like I'm home too. You know, like yeah. if I'm not traveling, I'm literally home with the kids all day outside the playing. Kids. Yeah, they're my kids, bro. Oh, what what happens when we have real human kids? I mean, my second kids. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they gotta get accepted oh, by the first shit. kids first. Yeah. Oh no. Do you think so? Normally, the uh, what the older sibling gets jealous that the parents are paying attention to the younger sibling more when it's born. Are your kids gonna be jealous that you care about the animals more? Are they going to fight the animals? Like that chimpanzee looks like he can rip some skulls. Yeah, but if you're going to rip some skulls, you got to rip mine off, not the kids. Has he done that? Bro, chimpanzees, I heard, are angry. Oh, that, I mean, dude, they're chimps, bro. You see a chimp without fur? Google it. I'm, I'm right going to show you all this right now. You this shit's crazy. Yeah, he knows. Bro. I seen the look on his face. He knows. No, this shit is nuts. Yeah, chimpanzee, was, yeah? 
Chimpanzee without hair. Some monkeys can be complete dicks, dude. <laughs> that's no, that's what I heard. In China, bro, are you are you out of your mind? Yo, look at what that is tricep that? and bicep. Look oh my god, god. You out of your mind, bro. Yo, this is okay. what you're playing. <laughs> oh dude, shit! Look at that grown man right there. Oh Damn. no, Logan! Shit, Logan! <laughs> Yo, go in the ring with him. I don't. I don't want to. Exactly. They're angry oh. and they fight from a primal place. I just. But don't want to deal they're with They're not angry creatures. They're just like people. But then why do they rip fingers off of human beings? Well, uh, I, I could be wrong. But from what I hear of that story is that chimp and that lady were doing a lot of drugs and drinking together. You're lying. I was, bro, look at Literally Google it. Wait, I was referring to a specific story. This is a real that's thing? That's the same. People ripped your, you know, the lady that's in Connecticut? Too. Yeah, dude. Wait. She, well, I don't know if she was from Connecticut, but I heard that story originally came from that, those, you know, those two abusing... The one that got, the lady that got mauled, yeah? Yeah. You know, I mean, dude, she got I don't know if you guys like, know, but have, like hanging out with a chimpanzee and spending time with a chimp, it's like us hanging out, but it's a chimp. Bro, I see you rolling around with the chimpanzee, playing Girl. with him and stuff. He like knows how to and, like, use and, Instagram and, too. And look, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> like what I do isn't for like, it's like, it's my everyday life. I want to get that clear. You know, chimpanzees aren't pets. You know, these animals that I interact with, they aren't like, I don't want them to be here, you know, in the situations they're in. They're supposed to be in the wild, you know. Thank God I had the, you know, the the pleasure to be able to interact with them in captivity to help better the species in, in the wild, you know. But the interactions are, with these animals are insane when you really think and hang out with them and see how smart they are, mm. especially a chimp, you know. Like, he could fuck you up and you can't do nothing about nothing, it. Absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he chooses not to, which intrigues my brain. Like, yo, what goes, what's, what's going on in this guy's head? When, when I met you the first time, mm -hmm. I was so excited to judge you and see if you were as genuine as you are online. Because that's always the question. Yeah. Every content creator wonders that about X, Y, Z. Yeah. Um, and you really are, dude. And I got to say, I'm so fucking impressed with who you are as a human. Dude, for, I love you too, bro. Yeah, for real, dude. When I met you and uh, Jake together at, uh, at hey, Dance Wedding, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, these boys is real. Some real man. boys, bro. And you're tight with Austin too, who's in our, in our same clip. Yeah, I love Austin, bro. Not to not to not to backtrack, and I I love our good Ace Family conversation. Yeah. But I wrestled a bear, and the trainer is uh, an animal lover expert. Lives on a a conservation about an hour from here. He's missing two fingers. What kind of bear did you wrestle? It was a Kodiak, eight hundred pound Kodiak. You wrestled him. Big mistake, yeah. Big wow. mistake. No, I, I did it. I, I was fine, but like one of the the scariest moment of my life because yeah. it was the only moment of my life where. Everything was unpredictable. I've, it's not my bear. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's also not. a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, somebody let you play with the 800-pound Kodiak grizzly bear? His name is Tag. Um, I believe... You have video of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen it. It's crazy. I'm going to show you after... I mean, I could try to look up now. It was on this platform yeah, that got that. deleted. Yeah, yeah show me that. Um, Danny, can, can you plug my laptop in real quick? That's some, that's crazy. But it, yeah, it was it was nuts. Bro, bears are no joke, bro. Yo, when they told me that the bears could individually each finger grip, like a human finger, <laughs> yeah. everything changed. And they have no like their hip bones are like non-existent, so they can bend completely, invert their legs. It's insane, right? What's the craziest animal that you've dealt with? Have you ever been uncertain of your life? No. Really? Yeah. Not even when you're in the water with these panthers. No, man, it's just like, it's it's part of the game. You know, it's part of my life. I don't know what else to do. Really? <laughs> can't, I can't think about the You're into deep. worst thing. Yeah, dude. I, it's like it's like boxing or, you know, playing basketball. You're going to roll your ankle. You know, hmm. you're going to get a concussion. You're going to get bit. You ever get? I got bit a thousand times. Like any time where it's a little too Yeah, too but far. like I'm not a guy to show like people... People get a lot of views off of negative negativity, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. You know, in the media world, people mm -hmm. want to see animals doing fucking people up or biting people. I'm not here to show that. I'm here to show the loving side of animals, the the real side, the raw side, the side that people need to see, not the fear side, you know? Yeah. So, like, I got ghost stories for days with animals, but I never film them. I never put them out. I never share them with the world because I don't want anybody to have a bad image on the beautiful animals that have a beautiful name. Do you, uh, you know, I, I, so I get just to combat. I've gotten fucked up for what? my whole life. 
I, animals. I would assume that, yeah. but I, I, I wonder if it's not giving the animals a bad name so much so as maybe if you did show the stories showing what animals are capable of to deter people from fucking with them. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's why I show the, I'm, I'm starting more so now to educate people not only on han- animal and human like fuck ups, but real na- natural fuck ups, you know, like your ze- like zebras. Zebras are fucking crazy. Why? Bro, they just don't give a fuck. No way. <laughs> yeah, bro. They like, see a male zebra, they see a little baby zebra that is not their offspring. They will go over there and beat the dog living shit out of them and eat them and try to kill them. What? Not eat them, but oh yeah, bro. Since when did a striped horse get so violent? Bro, that's how nature is. It's brutal. It's unforgiving. That's fucked It's up. raw and it's real, you know? What if kid cartoons had to so be if you realistic? See that, <laughs> yeah, it'd be crazy, right? <laughs> so if you like see one, that from an animal pets. perspective, you're just like, yeah, I'm not going to fuck with that as a human because I, I, don't, I don't want no smoke with that zebra, mm. you know? See a python swallowing a deer, you know, in middle of Africa, you're going to be like, yeah, bro, I'm not. Not touching that thing. We've all, we've all seen those those deer being swallowed by pythons whole. Yeah. How, where, how, do, how does that work? How do they get digested? Easy. Where does it go? It's easy, bro. I mean, you got to think of like uh, a snake. Okay. All right. These pythons you're seeing, they're top five of the biggest snakes in the world. They get 20 feet, 15 feet. Jesus. That's a long fucking snake. Yeah. You know, so when you're 15 feet long, you grow from a baby. You know, you eat mice and yep. little lizards and small birds and shit and bird nests. And then you get six feet, you eat like little baby pigs and anything you can catch that's like a little bigger, maybe a monkey or something. And then you get 10 feet, you're damn. like, damn, son, I don't want to be eating little mice no more. You know, what's what's going to satisfy me for real? I'll take this adult board now. I'll take a uh, baby deer, you know? And then you come across a 15 foot snake that's like, all right, uh, fuck, dude. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a deer over there. Oh yeah, that's a deer. Yo, but how does it you know? digest the deer? It's got like but think a about hooves how big and, and bones acid and in their stomach. How do you digest meat? And I don't know. I'm just a, hu- a vlogger, bro. You know? I'm not a biologist. <laughs> You're smart. You're very sharp. You know. No, 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 bro. Haven't you seen the media, bro? They all call me dumb. <laughs> Smarter than all you fuckers. <laughs> Keep writing your negative bullshit. I'm gonna come out on top. We suck, my suck my ass. Suck my ass. <laughs> Sorry. Suck my ass. I had a moment. <laughs> So they just like squash that thing down. The stomach acid just burns it up. Yeah, they, you know, they, they grab them, they wrap it up, or they asphyxiate them. It's okay. not really suffocation. W- would you say you're contributing to the betterment of the planet in a way more impactful than most? No, I just say um, I'm doing what I'm meant to do. I'm putting on earth for, you know, just to be a free dude and do what I love and Got a cool platform to be able to show the world these beautiful best friends of mine. So I just do what I can. I don't really like uh, keep track of anything. I just keep going. And I, my intentions are to save the world, save the planet, yep. save all the ecosystems, you know, save all the animals in the ecosystems and coexist with these beautiful creatures, you know. So I don't really go with the, the, the traditional route anyway. Just I'm, like you, a lot of people don't fucking agree with what I do. I don't care. So yeah. you, you suck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like the you way know? you said it. Like, suck my ass, buddy. You know, what are you doing on the couch talking shit? Yeah. You know, what are you actually doing? Yeah. You're not doing yeah. anything but literally talking shit. What you know, I meet dudes suck my ass. like you, <laughs> the selflessness <laughs> and the humility, I always have to ask. I mean, you're probably a chick magnet. As good looking as you are, you are probably a you know, man, chick magnet. I'm nowhere as near good as looking as you, bro. Yep. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, should, really? we, should we leave? <laughs> nah, you're lying, bro. You're lying. Bro, you're the man, bro. You got blonde hair Yo, like Tom Cruise. Was, you're deflecting. You're deflecting. You're like I'm a asking. six foot four Tom Cruise, bro. <laughs> I'm six two. Six two. I'll give you two extra No, tell, bro, you can't tell me some some baddies aren't sliding your DMs. Yeah, bro. I love women. I love all women. You know? Wanna share a story? What kind of story you want? I don't to know. Share? You got a crazy one? I love you, mom. <laughs> nah, bro, because you, I mean. Dude, yeah, well, I love women, bro. A beautiful, beautiful woman all around the world. You post with this girl a lot. Is she your friend? Yeah, it's my one of my good friends, Yovana. She's a badass animal uh, advocate. She's a. Uh, Yo, she's Ventura? Dope. Yeah, she's dope. You guys go on a lot of trips together. You go on a lot of trips with a lot no, of that girls. That was our first trip together. Oh, really? Me. Yeah. Are you doing Are you doing stuff with um, Dan Bilzerian? I see, I see you yeah. guys on trips. Yeah, yeah. Um, some CBD stuff. Oh, for yeah. must be nice, bro. Some, some sea turtle stuff too. Dan loves tortoises and turtles. 
Um, that's how me and Dan became friends. Oh, um, okay. I built a tortoise pen in his backyard. He loved tortoises. Oh, no way. So some old retired tortoises in Arizona. Um, guy didn't want them anymore. He's giving them up for anybody to take them. I flew from L.A. to, uh, he flew me from L.A. to uh, Las Vegas. Yep, yep. Drove from Vegas to Arizona. Picked up six huge tortoises. Drove them back. Oh, put them in his backyard. How you transfer tortoises? Giant, huge minivan. Um, and some Tupperware, giant, huge bins, and you just drive them, make sure they're okay, put the AC Damn. on. Damn. How was she supposed to transport 600 pounds of- 600 tor- pounds? Toy dois. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. You're like 100 pounds a piece, bro. And then, and then, so so you and Dan built this friendship. Yeah, And bro. now you're going to get rich off CBD? No, no, it's not that. It's not the thing, you know. CBD is like, um, it's good for, uh, it's good for your body. It's natural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, people don't no, take no, it's, abuse it's, pills it's, and it's shit. It's dope, you know? bro. Yeah. The uh, their marijuana industry is the one that I am really lagging, yeah, lagging on. Up. I've, I've, yeah, and I've, I feel like I've missed an opportunity. It's because I don't smoke. Yeah. So like, that's one though that like the hemp, it, it's it's crazy that how I think looking back, and we're still in it. Like there's still only a handful of states that this is legal. But yeah. looking back at how so ridiculous long. that is that we banned hemp. Yeah, people are in doing Oof. prison time. I was about to say <laughs> there's still people in jail from like oh, selling yeah. a, a gram of. We, oh yeah, yeah. What? what, do you, what we Think about that. Isn't that crazy, bro? It's Yo, it's, it's, like, it's like a large fuck. percent. It's like above like sixty percent of, insane, of, of people who are incarcerated or something like that. What? It's like a marijuana based charge. I believe. I believe. Crazy. What just happened with uh, and is happening with the legal legalization of marijuana is sort of like the, the same as the prohibition that happened in the nineteen twenties. Nineteen twenties. Yeah, prohibition. The Roaring Twenties. Yeah. Um, I think this is like. I mean, it, it, it's it's similar, but it's way bigger because it was never legal I, really I, in the I, first I, place. No, I I don't know if if it is because alcohol was legal, they made it illegal. Then were, then people flipped. Yeah, uh, true. And then yeah, they made different. But, but but still, it's a it's an uproar, dude. Like weed is going to be a billion dollar industry, and I'm actually envious of uh, that you got in. Just more, you know, educating myself. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I don't. I ain't fuck weed like that, you know. And CBD, and I started doing some more research, and like. Oh, CBD's in this, CBD's in that. And you go to Walgreens and I'm picking up some deodorant and I see CBD in the yep. little aisle. I'm like, damn, dude, this is like it's becoming some a thing. shit, you know? And it's been there for a long time, you know? It's just, mm. it's picking up, you know? So I want to do some CBD with animal products, whatever can help, like animals with bad joints or, mm. you know, fucked up for yeah. allergies, you know? Yeah. Maybe CBD will help them, you know? So Are that's you- why I'm in the CBD field, do some cool research on that and, and help people and animals. Yeah. And then too, you know? I use some for my fight. Put it on my joints. It really helped. Yeah. Hey, that, there's my sweet, sweet mother walking in. Oh, um, no way. Really? Yeah. Mom, this is Tarzan. Um, and I know you've posted about your dad before. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Your son is amazing. You birthed a king. So you're uh, like a super duper queen. That's we, The whole world appreciates you because without you, there wouldn't even be him or Jake. So we all love you. And thank you for changing the world directly from you. This guy, this guy's a <laughs> way to birth. He's a legend. <laughs> Way to burn. You gotta treat your moms and stuff like queens, you know? Bro, if she, if she starts coming on to you, I'm gonna be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a man's man. <laughs> um, no, but you've 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 made it you've been vocal about your uh, I think it was your dad before. Yeah, yeah. Big inspiration. Yeah, bro. My dad was like pff, like any kid, you know. Lucky dad. Yeah. Dad's like Superman. I'm always excited to see people's dads. Yeah, dude. He, he looked like you reminded me a lot of you. Dude, pff, I I'm just a little bit of him. Really? Yeah, dude. He was a man. I wish, I wish I could say the same about mine. I'm just kidding. Oh, yo, it's a joke. Dad, I love you. I know you're going to give me shit. He's going to be like, hey, man, why'd you diss me why on the podcast? Like that? Also, since when did I live in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> Storm, Ohio. Sorry, Dad. I, I, Texas I, accent. I love that. I love my dad. Um, speaking of dads, I know you had something you want to say about dads. Oh, you lost it? Yeah, I can't find it, bro. Yeah, I can tell you're clocked out. I'm clocked out because every time I say something, you give me laser eyes and tell me not to fucking talk, bro. So I'm just not saying anything now. You like hit me and shit, bro. Dang, You're abusive. Bro. What do you mean hit you? I don't You're hit abusive, you. Abusive, bro. When it was when was the last time I hit you? What's so, the laser eyes? So Trump, you poked me like this. So Trump. So Trump. Uh, <laughs> Trump talked about his dad like I guess yesterday yeah. and mentioned that his dad was from Germany and it's like the third time that he said that his dad was from Germany. He's not from fucking Germany. He's from New York City. <laughs> and like people have been like calling him out on it. Yeah. I don't know. What about it? I don't really get into politics. Yeah, I was gonna. Like yeah, I was gonna yeah. ask you that. Politics suck, bro. That shit's horrible. Do you get into? Do you get into? I mean, I I would assume it's your prerogative to try and avoid most drama situations. Were you ever in a situation where uh, Disney? I think was it Disney? Did they ever come after you for having the name Tarzan? 
I wouldn't say come after me. They were just, everybody's so nice and cordial, you know, at that level of people are just super sweet. So we're definitely working on something, you know, do something in, in, in the future. In a good, good way or bad yeah, way? Yeah, always in a good way. Yeah, so they, everything's probably there wasn't, there wasn't like a copyright? Uh, no. Damn. Yeah, we just that must be having nice, educational bro. talks about, you know, the future and having fun. Huh. There we go. I would have I would have expected them to pull a giant corporate move. I mean, now if you're looking at someone that's destroying a name, you know, what's Tarzan done bad? <laughs> it's true. Just trying to help, yeah, you know. He's a dope guy. I'm still Mike at the end of the day. Tarzan is just a name, nickname, you know. Did you see the movie, by the way? Absolutely. You like it? Yeah, I love Tarzan. Yeah. That's it's a dream a life. Cool guy. He's all right, you know. It's, like it's, it's, like a, it's a what you said? It's the dream life. Tarzan? Yeah, bro. Tarzan's yeah. a man, bro. Hey, what, what's keeping you from just going and being a Tarzan in the jungle and swinging from vines for the rest of your life? My mom. Your mother? Yeah, dude. She was, really? She wouldn't let me leave, bro. In Miami? Yeah. So I got to build Tarzana. <laughs> Wait, but okay, you say that. There's a city called Tarzana. Ten, it's a 10-minute drive. Yeah. You're talking about a Miami Tarzana? I got one of those too, yeah. Oh. But you're going to build Tarzana in Tarzana? That's the, that's the yeah, vision? Yeah, Tarzana is like, um, it's like my own little world. Okay. I don't want to look. I just want to go there and hang out with my animals and my family, you know? That's it. My dogs. Just a little place. It's called the second street. You know, I don't like Are you an introvert? What are you talking about? Are you an introvert? What does that mean? Like, uh... Cool introvert. Do you, do you find... Do you find that? Come Here, I'll, I'll give you the... Extrovert. Extra, that's the opposite <laughs> of an introvert. <laughs> um, it, do you find comfort more in being alone and can, confiding in yourself? Look, a shy... Yeah, a shy sure. no, I know an extrovert is prone to mess with you. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding, oh, bro. I feel fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> no, I just... Yeah, I'm always by myself. With my animals. With the animals, yeah. Yeah, I'm always like, all this, for the past year and a half, it's been so new to me to even like, even talk on a podcast, you know? Really? What do you, it's weird. Thanks what do you notice? On, oh, pff, no problem. What do you notice about humanity? Because uh, you spend a lot of time with yourself. A lot of people like, can't spend five minutes with themselves. Yeah. So when you spend all that time by yourself, uh, it's almost like you're probably your form of a meditation. Like, what yeah. do you realize about the world outside of that. World's a scary place. It's kind of sucks, right? Yeah, dude. World's a scary yeah, place. Yeah, fuck this shit, bro. But if you're a fucking gangster in your own little world, what you want to do, doesn't matter. That is so true. So yeah. if you want to be, a, when I say be a fucking gangster, you be a gangster being a badass cook. You know, you be a gangster yeah. writing the baddest children's goodnight stories or something or building fucking houses or yeah. something, you know? Like, when, he, when he says that, bro, <clears throat> I think of Robbie Davidson, the mm. king of the flat earth movement. Because, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I heard about that flat earth stuff. Tell, tell, tell me more about this flat earth stuff. Robbie I'm, Davidson I'm is a gangster in the flat earth community because he's just, Respect. I mean, he's just doing it, bro. He believes in this stuff yeah, so much, right? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't care. Completely false, but all right. Like, hey, but he's, he's about that life, right? Go for it. Like, be about that life. Yeah. No, nah, it, it was a little thing. You can catch it on YouTube. You should watch it, actually. It's funny. You didn't watch it? it? You didn't watch watch it? it I haven't. I'm on Instagram and social like that, but I'm really not. Yo, I'm jealous of you for many reasons. Your back tattoo might be one of the biggest reasons. Not even kidding. This is the coolest thing I've seen in in my days. Dude. You put a cobra? It's not even finished yet. I'm being a pussy right now. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm putting myself on blast. Wait, what (laughs) what else do you got to do? It hurts so bad, bro. I make... uh, How long did this take, dude? This is crazy. 26 hours in. Um, oh, I'm only oh God. Four, I'm only three, like three and a half sessions in because the last one I just fucking quit. But um, I got to go back and I got to finish the circles with this smiley face in the bottom because it's like, oh, I, I, I'm like not, I'm like seventy percent done. It's not even That's nowhere near complete. It. If you go to type in Spectacle Cobra, oh, is this what it's modeled after? Yeah, Spectacle, like like the glasses, like specs, you know. Uh oh, oh wow, this so is awesome. That's the final product of it. It's just I haven't. That shit hurts. When did when did you start getting that? Oh, uh, like not even a year ago. What was what was that jump you made to get a commitment of a tattoo that big? Because that's a send, man. Well, I got all my tattoos you guys see besides that Cobra one. Yeah. I got them all in less than a year. I started when I was sixteen, wow. and I got my last tattoo at seventeen, and I took a long gap because I got a full chest piece, two sl- two a leg sleeve, two half sleeves, and my back done. It was too much. I was going ham, bro. I was in a tattoo chair every other weekend. But they're sick, bro. They're, they, they, yeah, I was young though, they bro. They really I was fit your personality. 16, 17. So I had to stop myself, like cut myself completely off. It's like, dude, you're, you're going ham. You were getting addicted? Yeah, bro. And shit hurts too, huh? No, I, I, I didn't care for the pain. It's just like, I love, I love art too. 
you know? Yeah. So, like, when I started, like, tattoo my body and I'm like, yo, you're only 17, little fuck. Stop you're a little, doing little badass, <laughs> yeah. bro. Why did you get a face tag? You fucking pussy, so you're bro. like Gucci man. I'm having a fucking snow cone on my face. Yeah. Is that what yeah, he has? Respect. Yeah, he does. I respect yeah. that, bro. Yeah. I saw a video of Gucci what? man on play. Have you showed him your uh, your piece? Nah, I was thinking about it. Getting... You keeping that I, low key? Well, the reason I'm asking you, you is, is, I mean, sort of for the audience, but I'm, I'm being a little selfish here. It's kind of for myself though because I, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. My brother has a lot <clears throat> and I wanted to get a arm sleeve going into the pec. Yeah. Um, I think it's too much of a sin, bro. I think I'm gonna be a little bitch here. Like, I think some about bro, me how being dare the- dare you? I know, but some about me being like the clean cut, pale blonde white boy with no tattoos <clears throat> is like, it might be cooler than not than getting a tattoo. Bro. So, I don't know. Are you not gonna send it, bro? You've been sending it your whole life. I think you need to show him. What the fuck are you doing with you yourself You need to show him right the now? design. You're putting fear, you're, yo. Cut the podcast off, bro. We got to have a conversation. Oh, thanks for watching this episode. Sorry, awesome. guys. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Hit the subscribe button. Hit <laughs> the subscribe button. No, nah, because if I show him the piece, he's going to be like, yo, it's fucking dope. You should get it. It's fucking dope. And I'll be like, I don't no, know. some Boston shit. Right. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where she's from. We got an audience member from Rhode Island. Hey, hometown hero over there. There we go. Providence. Hey, who you who you hanging out with when you aren't hanging out with animals? Um, is that what that Jennifer Mez sometimes? Jenna, yeah, I love Jenna. She, she, isn't she here? Yeah, Jenna's over there. She's right. Jenna, uh, what up, Jenna? Uh, <laughs> what about Austin? Oh, bro, I love Austin, bro. Austin's Austin's a goat. I really like Austin. Bro, Austin's a goat, bro. Yep. Such yep. a good guy, bro. I I I I need to spend more time with him, Austin. I, I I'm bad at spending time with people, dude. Me too. You? Yeah. Why is that? I don't like people. Really? Yeah. It's not like, it's not unlike individual people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like. As a whole. Yeah. It's like, I don't got to explain shit to my dogs, you know. We just go have fun every fucking day. I don't have to yeah. explain them, like, why, you know. My, my, yo, you ever had a goat? Should I get one? I made a, I made Goaty, a post with one. Goaty, I'm sorry. I have not mentioned you all the way up until this point. Goat, Goaty is you my. You have a goat? Yo, he oh, is shit. my best friend, bro. Damn. I've never had a love from an animal more than this goat. But does the goat love you back? Yes. Really? It's a goat. And you're uh, like, bro, you're a goat. You're not supposed to act like this. Yeah. You know? But did you get lucky? Did you get lucky with I your goat? I think so. Really? Maybe I just spend too much time with my goat. I mean, not <laughs> yeah. too much. I mean, it's probably an ample amount of time. But I'm just afraid if I get like a goat or some animal that is like. You got to rescue a goat from like a little place where they're going to eat him or something. Give him, give him a better chance at life here at the. I'd be down for Logan that. Pulse Yo, compound. we're thinking about getting a wolf dog. Wolf dog. You know all dogs are wolves and all wolves aren't dogs. Listen, man. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I was like, yo, don't, don't break my heart. But a wolf dog. Yeah, wolf dogs are dope, bro. You think it'll eat my young pom Pomeranian dog? <sighs> Depends. <clears throat> what kind of barbecue sauce are you using? <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know my barbecue stuff. sauces, which sucks. So I'm from Ohio. Barbecue, barbecue, buffalo barbecue. Here we go. <laughs> That's just the one. There you, I, you just don't want to forget to feed him. Yeah, you gotta feed all your you gotta, animals. You gotta bro. stay on top of that food game. Hey, is there an animal that you would not fuck with? Like you saw in the wild, and, and you know distance is the key here. Like you're not you're not trying to wrestle a silverback gorilla, bro. You yo like, don't <laughs> absolutely, dude, bro. But How like, fun would that be? You wouldn't win. At yo, all. silverbacks are vegan. That's, that's that's part that's of the reason I went vegan because he told me that. But hear me out, okay? All right? Yeah, I, I could be wrong. No, no, they're you know they they, they, are. they eat leaves and stuff, yeah, for sure. But think about it. This motherfucker's humongous. Bro, okay. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. He, he's humongous. What the fuck is he gonna go catch? Oh yeah. Think about it. Bro, what he, is a silverback gorilla gonna do? He ain't gonna in a get anything. Thick, dense forest where he lives. Think about how big he is. Who the fuck's he gonna catch? So he just eats plants. He's got no choice, bitch. Oh my he's god. Not. He's I got mean, no choice to be or, vegan. Or no, or maybe he could, but he's just like, dude, these plants are good. Or you think he's gonna but, swoop a sloth? But you see how probably big not he is. dickheads. How much, going how after much, easy how much plant a day does a, 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 a silver a dog male silverback really eat? He's eating nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally waking up and eating until he goes to bed. Yeah. They I can't love leaves so much they wrap themselves in leaves, go to bed and wake up, and then keep eating. It's because pretty badass what life. the fuck is he going to catch? <laughs> now, a step below a uh, uh, silverback, it's a chimp. And look at a chimp's diet. What is a it? A chimp's diet is just like a human's diet. From They have one of the most complex oh, for real? diets in the world. Yeah. They eat everything. 
because they can catch everything. They can, they're smart, they're intelligent, mm. but they also have the, the aesthetics to actually go out and catch something. Like a rhino, you know, like the way he's genetically set up, he can't go catch shit, but nothing can really kill him either. The rhino? Yeah, look how big he is. True. Yo, you po you've, you've posted a video actually about rhinos and you've got a really cool shot. I believe Johnny F. PV Johnny FPV, shot yeah. it. Probably one of the best uh, shots of rhinos in, running in history. Yeah, bro. Johnny broke the and broke the world in half with that one. That that shit is crazy. He's incredible. Yeah. But, um, shouts Johnny FPV, dude. He's shouts like, Johnny. Oh, he puts the glasses on, bro. He's the man. Second time we shot him out, out on the show. He's we got, need to have him on. Have you ever met him? He's got to, no, never. Oh, bro. I just slept with Johnny like two days ago. For real? Yeah, Johnny is the man. I met his boy Sam Colder in Hawaii. Shout out Sam Colder. How dope is Sam? Bro, he's awesome. Those are my boys. We're in Africa together, all of us. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but I was going to ask, because you, you posted a video one day um, where, you know, I'm scrolling on Instagram and I, and I hit the, <clears throat> and then I see the, uh, this video ha it has graphic content, click mm -hmm. to see more, and you have to go, uh, go past that extra layer of security. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so I did, it was the rhino with the, with his horn cut off and he's yeah. bleeding out. And it was, you, it was a super long caption about, about the poaching, right? And, yeah. and taking of their horns. It's crazy, right? It, it affected me, man. That shit is it fucking sad. sucks, dude. Yeah, bro. And you like, when you really think about it, you know, like, and you really see it for what it is at face value, the reality of it, you know, it's fucked up. Yeah. You know? Is that why you show it? Because yeah, it is bro. graphic But as you got to show man. the people what the fuck is happening. They're never going to get, like, it changed your, it did something to you, right? You're never going to forget that image in your head. Yeah. Every time you see a rhino, for the rest of your life, you're probably going to think, and that's not even my video, that's someone else's video, yep. but just the concept of putting that image in your head of what the fuck is really happening will change you. Not only you, it change a lot of people. Do you get backlash for posting stuff that graphic? Suck my ass. Suck my ass. <laughs> Do I sound like that? No, no. Like, Suck my ass. Like, Since when was I a Poindexter, dude? It's from 1980. <laughs> Nah, no, yeah, yeah, people, um, some people get, you know, they want to see that. They go on Instagram to be happy, you know, and I do a lot of happy stuff, you know. Yeah, most uh, of it. Weren't you guys able to, like, shift some, like, legislation that was happening because of that campaign that you did? We raised, like, almost half a million dollars in wow. conservation efforts with those videos. Damn. Via Sam Colder, via Johnny. No FBD. way. So, oh, that's awesome. You know, the whole Carmagawa team, you know, we came to Africa to raise awareness on poaching and you know, the legal trade of horns and yeah. stuff like that, you know. So, you know, a big part of that um, whole thing was Sam and Johnny. Everybody mm -hmm. putting kelps there, you know, everybody putting their, you know, their their, their jets in the engine and, and making something better but it, for the world. The animal cruelty doesn't end there. I don't want to show it, but oh, you, yeah. you you had the um the dog remember in, in China, yeah, right? Bro, it's yeah, in China. There's, a, there's like a dog burning you festival. You know what's funny, bro? I had that video for like eight months. And I told myself, bro, I'd never show that shit to the world. Fuck that, bro. That's, I, I cried when I watched it's it. It's crazy. Bro, I literally, I watched that and I was like, I'm about to cry now thinking yeah, about that yeah. shit. Shit fucking sucks, dude. You know? Yeah. And I was like, man, I was up late one day and uh, laying with my dogs, you know? And I seen um, something on TV about <coughs> something. I said, man, I got to gotta help these dogs out, bro. I got to bring, got to bring a light to it. Yeah. And so that was one of the hardest posts I ever posted. <laughs> That one was tough. Yeah, dude. That sucked. one was tough. I I uh, forced myself to sit through it, so I, I seared it into my brain, so I could do something about it. But my question to you is, how can I? How can you? Where do you start? Where do you even begin? Because for, I mean, dealing with anything in China is is I mean, passing legislation in China. I mean, passing anything anywhere. Yeah. You know, it's tough, bro. We have a lot of problems in our world. We have a lot of beautiful things in our world, but we have a lot of shit that's just not getting done. Yeah. You know, so that's why there are people here like me and yourself that just don't give a fuck. We just want to help and change no matter what they want to do or say about it. Because yeah. whatever they're doing ain't fucking working. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? True. Like we're still having shit. We get a stink. We're still, you know, the, 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 the effect is still rolling. So. Yeah. One of the things I was just in China and uh, I didn't see any of that stuff directly. But uh, one of the things that also messed with me was shark fin soup. Like that's a that's a very popular thing out there. And like. Even that's crazy. Like we're, yeah, we're taking hundreds hundred, of millions. Hundred million sharks per year slaughtered. It's, 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 it's a lot of makeup too. It's yeah. oil, the oil and shark stuff, um, fins and shit. It's in oil. It's in a lot of makeup. Like the beauty gurus yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, you know. And you say, man, how does that work? Oh, damn. There's videos of 
palm oil, you know, trees, the, the, you know, in like Sumatra, people bulldozing these giant trees down. And there's orangutans that live in there, you know? There's ants that live in those, birds live in those trees and all that stuff is like coconut oil and shit, palm oil that we use. Yeah. So know? how how much of seeing these types of things, because I have, I've always found it interesting because we look at dogs like that, mm -hmm. but then there's some areas in the world that look at how we treat like pigs or like cows and they're exactly. like yo these humans over there in america because they, they eat dogs in some parts you yeah. know and then they got pigs that's normal for as, them as, as uh like they're like the pets you know it's so like the, as i said the world is you gotta take it for what it is in reality yeah you know what i'm saying like living is shifting it, you have to accept the reality of it and figure out what you're gonna do on a completely opposite note <laughs> that's a little more fun yeah can we do something extremely hands-on and physical and involving animals sometime soon. Yeah, for sure. Anytime, bro. I'm sure you have plenty of ideas, but like, I see you jumping across lakes, like catching turtles and stuff. Like, I want to do that. Yeah, bro. It's fun, bro. I want to catch we some turtles. I want to do something. Yo, it's, let's go catch some snakes. It's like 45 minutes from here. Here? Springtime's coming around. Everything was brumating and hibernating. So everything's coming out. I never caught catching snakes. Bro, let's go catch snakes, bro. Are they poisonous? There's some rattlesnakes out there. Oh, you shit. can't touch them, but... Wait, you can't? I'll show, I'll show you how to do it. Is there a lot? Why can't I touch them? You're going to fucking die, bro. Wait, you're if not, you get bit by a rattlesnake, you die? Yeah, you can. It'll fuck you up. You want to be able to box again like the same? You damage your hand. Like My brother that. damaged his hand. He's you, he's dying. What do you do? Mom, is he alive still? Yes. Jake's still good? Okay, that he's was a hesitation off. there. Yeah. This is, I'm, I'm being Jake, facetious. Jake's still alive. Not, he's he's alive. Really. Can, you, can you mark this real quick? Um, Jake, uh, he, what has he got? He's got cellulite? He's like cellulitis, bro. Yeah, he, he is not in good shape. He's been in the hospital for the past two days. Mm. Uh, he got an infection on his hand, it, and it, I don't, it affected his up? entire blood blood stream. But yeah, sw swelled up. Damn. He's uh, he's crippled. Damn, I just keep going back to the sad stuff. Hey, Jake, get better, bro. We, we, we miss you. I'm, get well I'm, soon, boy. I'm texting him every two hours. I'm saying, yo, you're still alive, and so far, so good. He's alive. He's alive. I, I just, man. He may need surgery. I will talk about this. After. Yo, would you transfer your blood to Jake if you had to? Can I do that? I would absolutely do that. My blood's sick. What kind of blood do you have? I don't know. Dope. <laughs> dope blood. I don't know. Dope. Dope blood. I, yo, I want to go to the, to the audio only uh, Q and A. Ask you some more questions. Dive a little bit more into uh, talk about animals, your life, private life, yeah. public life, all that shit. But uh, thank you for coming on, man. You know that, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, Anytime. for real. For real. Thank you for time. having me. It was fun. It was a great time. Yeah, we're gonna go. Do, we're gonna go do some real epic shit. Like some vlogs, you know. Down, YouTube, bro. So. I'm getting that vlog grind back on. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to catch up to you. Let's go. You got, a, you got go. a ways to go, bro. I'll I'll to go. <laughs> <laughs> that, you I'll can do it. Go. It's that grind. That's the grind, it's bro. The grind. It's the everyday grind. Thank you guys for listening, watching this episode of Impulsive. We freaking love you. Hit that subscribe button if, if you are not subscribed. Just skipped a couple words there. No problem. Audio only Q&A on Spotify and iTunes right now. Also give a shout out to Mike for your participation in this episode. We will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace. Peace. Whatever. Call what you want, but show me the respect that wait, I wait, fucking wait, deserve. Wait, wait, wait. But how many times did I tap you this It podcast? doesn't matter. Just show me the Answer fucking the respect Answer I the deserve. Question. Don't make dumb faces at the camera when I'm saying a piece that I'm fucking worked on, Answer the bro. question. It's just corny and Answer childish. Answer the question. Bro. Where are you from, Mike? How many times did I tap you? I'm from you? the East Coast, bro. The answer is zero. Yeah. 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 Yeah.